The most common repair needed on digital clusters is to reflow the solder on these two connectors. Uh, these connectors connect the boards together. We need to do both sides. Uh, all we're going to do is heat up a soldering iron, get some fresh solder, rosin core, and we're going to heat up each joint one by one. We're going to touch some fresh solder to it. The rosin will help clean the joint. That will also eliminate any cold solder joints on these two connectors. Okay, to do this repair, I've got a few basic tools. I have uh, a 40 watt soldering iron. I have some desoldering braid. I have some 0 0.025 inch rosin coarse solder. And I have a paper towel that's been soaked in water. You can get all of these things at Radio Shack. Once our soldering iron is hot, I'm just gonna wipe it off. paper towel, clean it, take a section of solder. Uh, we're starting with the, the bottom board, this is the, the board that is closest to the LCD panels, and we're just going to slowly, one at a time, heat up these solder joints. Apply some fresh solder, wait for it to flow, and then remove the heat. When we do this, we're heating both the, uh, the copper foil on the board and the pin at the same time. We're applying a very small amount of solder. Each time we just want enough to, uh, to clean the solder joint. From time to time we'll clean off our soldering iron. When we're finished with each connection, the joint should be concave. And it should be bright and shiny silver. Cold solder joints look uh, a dull gray. Okay, if we make any mistakes and put too much solder on there, or if we uh, we bridge two of the pins together, we'll take the solder braid. Put it next to the, the connection to clean up, and we'll heat that with the soldering iron until the solder flows up into the wick. After it's gone, we'll apply some fresh solder, and it's as good as new. Continue on until we freshen up the solder connections on all 12 pins. Since this board is, uh, since this board uses lead-based solder, it will be easiest to work with uh, solder that uh, is a 60-40 uh, lead tin mix. The lead-free solder is uh, quite a bit more difficult to work with. 
it takes more heat and it's more difficult to get it to stick to connections that have already been soldered with leaded solder. And that finishes the first board. Damn it. And this is how the display driver board should look. All of the connections are nice and bright. No cold solder joints. Okay, this is the bottom of the, uh, the top board. This is the board you'll encounter first as you're taking the cluster apart. It's furthest away from the glass panels. And this is the connector we're going to work with. Okay, we'll clean up our soldering iron. One by one, we're going to apply heat to each joint on the connector. We're, when we apply heat, we're applying heat both to the copper pad on the board and to the metal post on the connector at the same time. After we apply heat, we'll touch it with some fresh rosin core solder just to clean up the joint. We want to use very little additional solder. When the fresh solder flows, we'll remove the heat and the joint has been repaired. We'll do this for all 12 solder joints in the connector. And if we get too much, if we get too much solder on a connector, we'll take our desoldering braid, we'll lay it alongside the joint with too much solder, and we'll heat the back side of that foil, and that will draw the solder up into the solder wick. After it's gone, we'll apply some fresh solder. and the joint's been repaired. We continue on until we've done all 12 connections and that completes our repair on the top board. You can find a complete description of this process complete with high-res photos on my website, batty.com slash corvette. That's B-A-T-E-E dot -E com slash corvette. You'll find a link in the description. Hi, my name is Brian Thompson. Since 1999, I've been helping folks fix their Corvette instrument panels completely free of charge. Producing content like this is how I feed my family. Please check out the sponsors. And if you found this video helpful, consider making a donation. You'll find a link in the description.